Now we have to calculate the proton affinity value and we have been given heat of formation value of NH3. So this value is given and we have been also given heat of formation value of NH4Cl. So let us say I have been given heat of formation value of NH3 that is the half mole of N2 reacting with 3 by 2 mole of H2 and this will give you 1 mole of NH3. So this is the heat of formation I need 1 mole and for this reaction delta H is given minus 46. All values are given in kilojoule per mole. Now heat of formation for NH4Cl. So I can write a similar reaction for NH4Cl half mole of N2 plus 2 mole of hydrogen plus half mole of Cl2 and this will give you NH4Cl. Are you getting? So this will give you NH4Cl. And for this reaction delta HF is given minus 314. Now if I reverse the first reaction, I want to cancel N2. So if I reverse the first reaction, so I will have NH3 and this goes half N2 plus 3 by 2 H2 and this is minus becomes plus 46 and now if I add these two reactions so let us add these two reaction and see what happens nitrogen nitrogen goes out so you will have NH3 this side NH3 is this side and plus half Cl2 and half H2, 3 by 2 H2 and 2 H2. So we will have half H2 and you will have half Cl2 and this side you will have NH4Cl, simply will have NH4Cl. Are you getting? And what is the delta H value? Minus 314 plus 46. So let us calculate this one. Minus 316. So this is minus 314 plus 46. So this value is minus 268. So for this reaction delta H is minus 268 kilojoule per mole. Now I can think this same reaction in a, in a born harbor cycle term. So what we will do is let us say from a born harbor cycle H2 molecule dissociate and gives H atom. Are you getting what is the energy released in this case? Energy given in this case per mole of H2. I have to give 218 kilojoule mole per mole energy, but I need only half mole, so I have to have 218 divided by 2, that is 109 kilojoule energy is needed in this process. And now if I break chlorine into chlorine atom, what is the energy needed in this process? Chlorine is 1 to 4, so half of the, this is 62. So I need 62 kilojoule energy for this process. Now, if hydrogen loses one electron and then it forms H plus, and chlorine gains one electron and it forms Cl minus. Now this is a ionization energy. In this process, you have to give the energy, and for hydrogen, we have the ionization energy is 1310 kilojoule. So this is the amount of energy needed per atom 1310. So this is a plus sign 1310. Now in this case energy is released, electron affinity is negative. So for chlorine we have 348, so I have to have minus 348 because energy is released. So this is minus 348. Now you see I have NS3, I have H plus and this NH3 combined with H plus so let us say NH3 is coming from here and H plus is coming from here and these two combine so NH3 and NH4 H plus combine and they form NH4 plus now in this process let us say energy whatever the energy let us call this energy is P proton exchange energy so let us say PE so proton exchange energy are you getting the proton affinity energy let us say pa so so that with this becomes proton affinity energy so let us say this is pa proton affinity energy 
Now this NH4 plus again combined with this Cl minus and they form NH4Cl are you getting so NH4 plus combined with NHCl minus and it form NH4Cl and in this process energy will be released because now you have Cl minus you have NH4 plus it will form NH4Cl lattice so some amount of the energy released there is a lattice energy released what is the lattice energy minus 683 so this is the energy released is minus 683. So, this energy is minus 683. Now, the sum of the energy either you go from this side or you go from this side because the heat changes is a state function. So, either you go from this process or you go from this process, you will have same heat changes. So, let us calculate from this side. From this side, there is a heat change is plus 109 and then you will have plus 1310 and then this side will have plus 62 and minus 34 at plus proton x affinity energy minus 683 and this is equals to minus 268 now from here we can calculate proton x and affinity energy are you getting or not so only we have to make the sum so let us calculate this one so i will have in 109 109 plus 1310 plus 62 plus ah, this time minus minus 348 minus 683 so this value is 450 so you will have proton exchange plus 450 as equals to minus 268 so proton exchange is minus 450 minus 268 so this becomes 8 and 65 11 4 to 6 7 so minus 748 718 kilojoule per volt this is kilojoule or kilocalorie let me check this is kilojoule per mole yeah this is kilojoule per mole. So this is the proton affinity value. If it NH3 gains a proton, this is the amount of energy that is released. So proton affinity, so affinity, proton affinity is an exothermic process. So you can say gain of proton is an exothermic process or capture of proton. Gain of proton is an exothermic process, is exothermic process. 